Thank you for choosing to watch the Watchman News headlines video. Our full episodes can now be seen over at Patreon with much more added content for just $2 a month. Link is in the description. If you cannot afford $2 a month, please consider using our Amazon affiliate link, purchasing from our Teespring store, or making a PayPal donation. All links are below. In order for us to grow, we have to make changes to enable it. Our time is valuable, and we have been one of the very few news sources actually dedicated to bringing you honest, hard-hitting, actionable news and information. Plus, for your $2 a month, you do not have to hear me blabber about these links. It's a win for us all. Bullshit. Thank you. Good evening, Watchmen and Watchwomen of YouTube. Welcome to another Headlines video. So... Tonight we talked about energy preps over there on Patreon and we're not just talking about electrical even though in the thumbnail you see a transformer and lightning on the lettering. Um, we talked about heat energy as well. Uh, we covered in depth different ways to heat your home. Obviously right now is a period of time to where that's an important factor. Why? Because the electrical energy is not there. The last I looked it was like 14 states were going through rolling blackouts right now. Luckily, luckily, so far, Illinois is not one of those states, but uh, like 14 states the last I looked are experiencing rolling blackouts right now during this insane cold snap, okay? That is life-threatening for many, and I am sure that in the coming days, like tomorrow especially, you're probably going to hear about some of that. And so, you know, to me it was important to spend an evening and talk about those energy preps that goes way beyond solar panels and, and battery backup systems, but also talk about heat energy and different methods that, that you could stay warm enough to survive. Maybe not warm enough to thrive, but warm, warm enough to keep breathing, you know, and that is what is important. So anyway, that's what we discussed over there on Patreon. Uh, we're here to do the headlines, and so let's jump on into that. All right, starting with uh, some headlines that I put out last night before I went to bed. Police fire anti-coup protesters in Myanmar as clashes intensify. And now we're already to this morning's news that I put out anyway. Uh, Russian Progress uh, space freighter launched from Bakanor. If I said that, I'm sure I said that way wrong cargo slated to put an end to outdated docking module on the ISS. And I actually watched the video of that rocket. It was actually pretty cool. Uh, naval exercise starts out off, uh, starts off Karachi at Amman 2021 multinational drills attended by Russia and several NATO countries. What are you laughing at? Let me bring this over here so I can actually read it so she quits laughing at me. <laughs> Uh, South Korea rules at giving AstraZeneca vaccine to over 65s. I ought to give it to you and let you read it. Uh, India to become second biggest coronavirus vaccine producer in the world. <laughs> Still laughing. Russian scientists develop highly accurate tests to detect British COVID-19 variant, which has prompted further uh, flight shutdowns. Now, <laughs> now you're messing me up. Okay, well, I'd mess up anyway. Uh, Google and Facebook very close to striking deals with news organizations. Aussie Treasure says as media reform bill moves on. <laughs> uh, Visa considers adding cryptocurrencies to its payment network. Peru's foreign minister becomes second government official to step down for receiving COVID-19 jab ahead of priority groups. Iran threatens to further reduce nuclear commitments if the U.S. doesn't return to the 2015 deal. U.S. apologizes to Ireland after American troops flout strict COVID-19 regulations during overnight stopover. Russia and Japan could finally sign World War II peace deal as Tokyo says it's ready to continue negotiations over disputed Kuril Islands. Hancock begs, uh, begs BAME, I always call it BAME, I don't know if that's how they pronounce it, well it's like the, what is it, I can't remember, it's an acronym, I say BAME, uh, BAME, Hancock begs BAME health workers to get COVID-19 jab as studies shows only 37% of black NHS staff 
have come forward for the vaccine. It's like black Asian minority... Mm, I can't remember the E. Oh, I don't, I don't remember the E. Now, uh, let's see. Gagging opponents is not unity. Conservative reporter who was shoved and rubbed... What? <laughs> come here, baby. Why don't you shove and rub me? <laughs> Okay, I'll repeat that. Gagging opponents is not unity. Conservative reporter who was shoved and rubbed with a dirty diaper, don't do that, at a BLM rally tells RT. I I don't know. Uh, Philippines denies trying to extort U.S. after Duarte demands Washington pay for its troops staying in the country. Russian discount retailer fixed price planning London IPO. France finds Google 1.1 million euros over hotel rankings practices. Advanced Western healthcare systems collapsed during COVID-19 pandemic. Russia was better prepared to rapidly mobilize, says Putin. Belarus foreign minister insists allies still back in battle leader Lukashenko and says trade booming despite EU embargoes. Uh, there's no anonymity anymore. Don't kid yourself. Infowatch head Natalia Kaspersky, I never can get her name right, uh, to RT. So I've said this for a long time, folks. Do not trust anything online, anywhere. Emails, private messages, nothing. If you think it's private, you're, you're goofy. You know, and I don't care if it's encrypted. I don't care if it's Telegram. I don't care. They would not allow you to use it if they couldn't decrypt it in real time, okay? And believe me, they do. They decrypt it. They analyze it. Well, they don't. AI analyzes it, and it gives them a flag if there's anything of concern, okay? Believe me, you wouldn't have access to it if it truly was encrypted beyond their means, okay? Uh, Kremlin interested in conversation with Elon Musk after SpaceX founder invites Putin for chat on audio-only Clubhouse app. Turkish president accuses U.S. of supporting Kurdish PKK terrorists after 13 killed in Iraq. Five-person ISIS cell in Germany plotted to kill YouTuber played paintball to hone attack skills, says prosecutors. Uh, Kids YouTube channel warns world would suffer if Bill Gates disappeared in bizarre video praising the respected billionaire. The quote-unquote respected billionaire. And that is eerie. Um, That video is eerie. Russian right-wing firebrand Zirinovsky and communist leader (sighs) Ziganov accuse each other of being in league with Navalny supporters. Oil hits 13-month high amid hopes for global economic recovery. Texas implements rolling blackouts as state hit with most extreme snow and ice in years. Largest ever the world has seen, Microsoft president claims 1,000-plus software engineers must have worked on solar winds breach. Unvaccinated citizens' names should be disclosed New proposal by Israeli Prime Minister suggests amid slowdown in immunization campaign. I talked about this on the special report I put out today. Texas wholesale electric prices spike more than 10,000 per, uh, percent amid outages. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Especially on top of the other nightmares that everybody has been experiencing in this country. Now they're going to be looking at electric bills that are absolutely through the roof. And not only that, right, that's if they survive the rolling blackouts. Is this ridiculous or what? So not only now can they not rely that their electricity is going to be there to keep them warm, but they're going to be paying 10,000% more for said electricity. That is just mind-blowing to me. Russia should introduce hard labor for insulting veterans, says think tank after Navalny smeared World War II hero as a traitor. I also included this in the report I did earlier. Not because I support the idea of smearing veterans, absolutely not, but I do support free speech. I do support free speech, and I don't think that anybody 
should be criminalized because they say they don't like somebody or they've got something bad to say about somebody just because a profession that they are either currently in or were formerly in. No, this is ridiculous. And, and we have to be careful just because we don't personally like, or at least I don't, I don't like the idea of smearing a war hero. Not as long as he was a good war hero, a good dude. I mean, as long as I'm not praising Hitler or something, you know. I mean, you have to understand, Hitler was an iconic war person as well, okay? Hopefully, this guy was on the good side. I believe he was. But, you know, still, I, I'm sorry. I reserve the right to be able to criticize any well, anybody I damn well please, Right? Just because of somebody's profession or a previous profession, I shouldn't have to do hard labor for criticizing them. We've got to put the shoe on the other foot here. Because if we don't, ain't none of us going to have shoes. Germany turns away 5,000 people at borders with Czech Republic and Austria doesn't rule out COVID-19 checks on France frontier. Our job is to make sure the thugs don't win. French interior minister slams attack on police officers. EU has been breaking off relations with Moscow for years, says Russian Foreign Minister Lavrov, amid growing tension with Brussels. A Brit who sneaked out to see fiancé in hotel faces up to six years in jail for breaking Singapore's quarantine rules. I mean, insanity absolute insanity hang on a vape actually getting a little bit of a sore throat all right tehran blasts washington's act of piracy for attempting to seize oil shipment belonging to the private sector uh let's see This was an interesting article. Anatomy of a Conspiracy with COVID. China took the leading role. Very interesting article. I recommend uh, it's uh, on AP News. I highly recommend uh, going to our Twitter, getting the link, and checking out that article. Uh, We will not be canceled. Social media platform Parler relaunches after being axed by big tech following Capitol riots. I still won't be there. Don't rely on vaccine passports for travel. WHO's Ryan urges amid shortage of COVID-19 jabs. Uh, You've won 1619 Project creator who doxed conservative reporter taking a break from Twitter over abuse. You know, taking a break, right? She's taking a break. She's not been suspended from Twitter. No, she's voluntarily taking a break. What is wrong with this? Hmm. Uh, Why was Capitol Police Chief's request for National Guard denied ahead of riot? Republicans ask Nancy Pelosi. I'm sure that she'll circle back around to it. The toughest nuts to crack. Wait a minute. Uh, UK PM Johnson says COVID jabs and uh, on-the-spot test will be key to nightclubs and theaters reopening. Now I see where nuts are involved. Uh, We the people, gone and no one noticed, Biden removes Obama-era petition tool to thunderous media silence. Hmm. Majority of Americans want third party as support for idea peaks amid disappointment in both Democrats and Republicans, says a poll. Uh, Where were these people decades ago? Like when Perot ran, for instance? Catalan independent supporters and, and uh, not just Perot, but, but uh, uh, help me out, babe, Ron Paul, right? That would have been a great one to get in. Kind of late now. Catalan independent supporters increase majority in local parliament and plan to form government. Of course, I still say the same thing. And I'll stand behind it. I think we need to figure it out first, but I think we need to resurrect George Carlin and we need to elect him president because not only would George Carlin make a great president, that would be the absolute most damn cruel thing you could do to that man would be resurrect him and put him in charge of this mess. <laughs> Talk about a joke. 
Uh, let's see. U.S. COVID czar Fauci wins $1 million Israeli prize for courageous leadership in public health and defending science. Now, I personally want to know, is it a prize or is it a payout? Is it a prize or is it a payout? Hmm. Pelosi says independent commission will examine Capitol riot. Nothing to investigate. Cuomo blames COVID-19 nursing home deaths on staff and calls accusations against him conspiracy theories. Yeah, no, he didn't order. He didn't order all those COVID patients into the uh, nursing homes. That that was the staff that ordered it with his, you know, signature and voice and all of that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, on President's Day, a crowd of supporters turns out in Florida to cheer Trump. <laughs> it happened. Texas deploys National Guard to aid local authorities after a massive blizzard leaves 3.8 million without power and below freezing temps. Contractor killed American soldier among six win- wounded in rocket attack near U.S. base in northern Iraq. Los Angeles police hunts for alleged Valentine's Day meme mocking George Floyd's death as lawyer demands an apology. And I do see a number one up there on the old RT thing. Uh, Indian climate activist arrested and accused of circulating farmers protest toolkit shared by Greta Thunberg. Hmm. Cray cray. Anyway, those are the headlines. Ah. <sighs> I am tired. I am getting out of here. Hopefully, God willing, we will all see you tomorrow. I hope you guys have a good time or a decent time or at least stay warm until then. As always, God bless you. We love you. Be one with your spirit. And shalom.